This video is about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and how our littering is affecting the animals that live in it and beside it, and us. The person that found the Great Pacific Garbage Patch was Captain Charles Moore whenever he was on a yachting race from Hawaii to California, and him and his crew noticed um, millions of pieces of plastic around his boat. This is part of the ocean in the rich of the garbage patch. And the you know, ocean's are like this, or like this one. This is a picture of a dead albatross. It is a species that is living around the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and it has been eating our trash. This is a picture of an alive one. Do we want to keep them? Do you want to keep them looking like this or like the dead one? This turtle had a plastic ring stuck around its body whenever it was a baby, and now look at it. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is very large. As you can see, it is twice the size of Texas. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is over a hundred times bigger than it was 40 years ago. And these are some pictures of some animals that have been affected by the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in a bad way. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is over 90 feet deep. This is a jar of just some regular water in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This is a picture of some plastic bottles in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and plastic molecules like never go away. So I guess you can say it's indestructible. It is very easy to get a group together and go pick up trash in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and you'll be making a big difference. There is not just one garbage patch, but five. Here are a lot of facts about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Always remember the three R's, re reuse, reduce, and recycle. I have influenced you to recycle your trash, so get up right now and start a group to pick up trash and really make a big difference.